Hi friends, here is a nice problem in arithmetic progressions. Here we have to prove that this is the only series x, 3x, 5x which will satisfy this kind of sum. Right. Here, so what they are saying? They are saying 3 into sum of first three terms is sum of next three terms. For a moment, let's ignore x and let's call that this series is something like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, when x equal to 1. This is basically this is the set of all odd numbers. Now 3 into first sum of first three terms. What is what is the sum of first three terms? 3 into 9. 3 into 9 is equal to sum of next three terms. 11 plus 9, 20, 27, which is true, right? Similarly, sum of first four terms. 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7. Right, which is equal to this 9 plus 7, 16. 3 into 16 is equal to then 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15, which is equal to 48. Right. Similarly, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. This is equal to 25. Right. Now, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19. The sum of these five is equal to 75. Everywhere we see whether we take three terms, four terms, five terms, n terms, sum of first n terms is one third of sum of next n terms. Or three into sum of first n terms is equal to sum of next n terms. Now we have to prove that this is the only series that will satisfy this kind of equation. Right? This is a very interesting problem. It can be generalized also, but for now, let's solve a specific case. Spe specific case in the case of when it is multiple of 3. Right. So, let's take any random series which is in arithmetic progression a1, a2, a3, a4, and up to an. This is an arithmetic progression. What is an arithmetic progression? The n term in an arithmetic progression is a1 plus n minus 1 into d. d is the common difference. We know this formula, right? nth term is first term plus n minus 1 times d. Right. Now, what is given? 3 into 3 times sum of first n terms. What is sum of first n terms? First term plus last term, first term plus nth term into n by 2. That is sum of first n terms, right? First term is a1. What is nth term? a1 plus n minus 1 into d. a1 plus n minus 1 times d. This is the nth term. This is the first term. First term plus nth term times n by 2. This is the sum of first n terms is equal to 3 times of this is equal to sum of next n terms. Next n terms. That means starting from n nth term n plus 1 term n plus 2 times, n plus 3 third term, n plus 4 up till the until the next n terms. Okay. So, for example, first 5 terms versus 6 to 10 or first 10 versus first 1 to 7 versus 8 to 14. Right. So, 1 to 5 is here, 1 to n is here. Then, the remaining one is 1 to n is here and n plus 1 to 2 n minus 1. Right. For example, if n is 5, n plus 1 to 2 n minus 5, 2 n minus 1 d. Right. So, we want 10th term. What is 10th term? a plus 9 d. a1 plus 9 d. Right. a1 plus 2 n minus 1 into times d. Right. Similarly, we want 14th term. What is 14th term? a1 plus 13d. What is 13? 2 times 7 minus 1. Right. So, basically this part is, this part is between, this is between 1 to, 1 to n and this is between 
n plus 1 to 2n. Right? n plus 1 to 2n. n plus 1 term is a1 plus nd. 2n term is a plus a1 plus 2n minus 1 times d. Right? The formula is a1 plus n minus 1 times d. Instead of here, n will become 2n. Right? In this case, n is 2n. So, this is the first term of the second part. Right? Next n terms. This is the first term of this. This is the last term of this. The sum of all of this is n by 2 times first term plus last term. First term is n plus 1 term. Last term is 2n term. Okay. So, let us cancel this n by 2 and this n by 2 and simplify this. So, n by 2 goes a1 plus a1 is 2a1 plus nd minus d. Here, a1 plus a1 is 2a1 plus nd plus 2n into d, 2nd minus d. Right. 3 times of this is equal to this. Let us just expand 3 into 2, 6a1 plus 3nd minus 3d. And let us bring this part also to the left side, minus 2a1 minus 3nd minus 2 will become plus d. Right. This 3nd and this 3nd will cancel each other. 6a1 minus 2a1 is just 4a1 and minus 3d plus d will become minus 2d. We are left with what is, if this has to be 0, that means d is equal to 2a1. 2a1, what is a1? a1 is the first term. What is d? d is the common difference. The common difference should be equal to 2 times of the first term. What does that mean? If first term is x, then d will become 2 times of first term. That is, d is always 2x. Right. So, second term is x plus 2x. Third term is 3x plus 2x. Fourth term is 5x plus 2x. Like this. So, our terms have become now x, 3x, 5x, 7x, 9x, etc. Right. This is such a beautiful result. We can generalize this also. Generalize in the sense. It's not not sum of next three terms. It can we can apply this to sum of next six terms, ne next nine terms, next twelve terms, whatever. Next sum of next k n terms. Also, we can generalize this. But obviously, this three will change. It will become some other number. Okay, this number some other factor. Right. The point is, it doesn't depend on how many terms we are taking. 3 or some sum of first n terms is as a factor of sum of next n terms. That is a generalization. Thank you, guys.